Yum, yum! Hello, Pixel Fondue community. How are you doing? This is Yazan Malkosh from 9B Studios and Pixel Fondue. Um, today, I'm here to talk to you about Adobe Experience Design. It's this little application right here. Um, it's in beta. I know that. I know. Never show beta software. Um, but it is one of the latest offerings coming in from the Adobe Creative Cloud. If you're doing some sort of prototyping or presentations, it uh, really helps. Kind of like a keynote, but more Adobe. Um, maybe not as powerful. Maybe kind of um, a lot of things stripped away from it uh, if you compare it to things like Photoshop or Illustrator, but that's okay. Anyway, let's not get too carried away. Let's get started on the top 10. You'll notice that there are these little circular, uh, in interior circular um, symbols. So if you click and drag on any one of those, you basically have the ability to round off those corners. Knowing that I'm going to be using this pretty often in my layouts, um, what I do is I right click and I make symbol. What that does is that gives you the ability to now uh, basically instances. If you look at the, bo the bottom left of your screen, there's a little symbol right there. If you select it, it actually shows you all the symbols that you have in your document. So I can actually grab this guy from here and drop them. An easy way to align them is using the align tools up top over here. So top, middle, bottom, left, center, right. Awesome. Also, there's some distribution ones. So for example, if I had this guy, this guy, this guy, maybe three, four more, I can grab all these guys right here. And I can go to object, distribute horizontally, and that'll kind of evenly distribute them along the path. And that looks great. And I'm going to probably have a bunch of search results. I don't want to write all of them. Just Again, this is more of a mock-up tool. It's not meant to actually show everything as it is. So all you do is you either command R or repeat grid. Once you do that, the icon changes to a green color, and I can then grab this uh, handle and just take it down to show the different um, or the instances of that result. If you hover on the space between them, you'll see your icon, uh, your mouse cursor change. Uh, just click and drag, and you can minimize the spacing between there. You can use the same trick for visual elements, such as the thumbnails. So if my search was about fur, I'll repeat grid, make double of that, and then go vertical. That looks good, except for they all look the same. Now, this is where the trick comes in. You grab a bunch of random images, drop them, bam. I'm going to drop it down, just kind of above everything else, but below the text. And I'm going to uh, double click on there and just select background blur. Now, what this gives me is the ability to blur the whatever's behind that asset. Delete this. Um, to do that, just select the artboard. You'll notice that the uh, the tool, the kind of sizing tool, changes. And what you can do is just grab that and just take it all the way down to whatever size you want. Prototype. And uh, what this means is that one of these screens will serve as your home base. So you can see the home base here. You can actually click on any of the artboards and kind of make that into your home base. But in this case, it's this one. And from that point, any item that you have on there can become a linkable um, button. So for example, I created a little widget here that I can actually go in there and drag over there. So for example, let's say I wanted to, maybe this search result, this little icon here takes me automatically to this one. So what do you do after you connect there? Let's say I'm gonna select the home one. I press play, it emulates exactly what I'm doing. You can actually, which is pretty cool about this, save a recording of kind of yourself uh, going through the process of prototyping. So imagine this is now on your iPhone. I click on my button. I come here and I say, oh, I want to search here. There's my search field to say, okay, I'm going to create a link. Um, and you could drag a file here for you know, the option um, for icon. And then you create link. It kind of goes through, compiles everything, um, makes sure the images are, you know, not sending the full resolution images, just whatever image is enough for the screen. I can copy and then share it again. What's nice about this is if you ever update this, you can actually, all right, share again and just update my link. And that just updates the link automatically. Okay, wait, wait, before I leave, I do have one more tip. It's number 11, but I think it's really cool that uh, you have access to this. So if you go under file, open UI kit, you actually have the ability to see the Apple iOS material for Google and Microsoft Windows. It's all kind of the elements that are needed to prototype things for the iOS. It's the same thing with uh, Google material um, and their Android uh, platform. And then obviously Microsoft Windows. 
Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. And that was the last tip for the top 10 tips plus one extra tip on Adobe Experience Design. Thanks, and see you next time.